This list is a compiled list of FBI records. It's as much as a resource for the Sun-Times as it is for the public. I sat down with Sun-Times reporter Robert Hergith, who told me the themes of these records are all about race, patriotism, and gun control. We've built a database comprised of FBI files dating back for a century almost. Uh, uh, mobsters, politicians, union leaders, actors, artists, uh, writers, all with ties to the Chicago region or Illinois. So most of the people on this list are deceased. And why is it still so interesting for us to know about people in the past? The FBI has, keeps records on just all kinds of people for different reasons. It's really revealing about how the FBI works by looking at the files. And just because you have an FBI file does not mean you did something wrong. The FBI keeps files on people for many reasons. Yes, you might be a villain, but also you might be a victim of a crime or just a public figure who was, you know, back then especially, they had files on people just because yeah. they did. Do you think some people um, kind of knowing about these files kind of have an issue with privacy or a concern with that? Well, I mean, here's the thing. If there's a privacy concern on behalf of the FBI, they'll black something out. What do you do when there's so much redacted details? Right. Sometimes the, the, the blacking out of words and the redactions are so heavy that it's hard to sort of gauge what is going on there. Adds a little intrigue to the records. Why is it so important to shed light on political figures, on people of interest that have made a huge impact here in the city of Chicago? What you have here is, is transparency. You have a bunch of records, many of which um, were not sort of publicly available or easily accessible, and now they are, on government officials and on a government agency um, watching or keeping tabs on those government officials, so it's just a transparency tool, but also it's, it's, it is very entertaining in some ways. The more we talk about this, the more I feel like it's almost like a movie. Well, literally, there are people in the files who have been the subjects of movies, like Frank Lefty Rosenthal was the subject of the movie Casino, and uh, so there are movies in here, literally, but also to your point, yes, yeah, some of the stuff is fascinating. Frank Sinatra is mentioned in some of these mobster files because he chummed around with some Chicago yeah. hoodlums. Bob, can you give us a quick sneak peek of who you have on your list on who you want more information from? Well, Tony Accardo was very interesting. I mean, he might not be a household name now, but he was the most po powerful organized crime figure in America for 50 years. And then we also have, um, you know, Ernest Hemingway, who hailed from the western suburbs, went to Oak Park River Forest High School. His are very interesting, too. You know, but the key here is also this is going to be ever-growing, right. ever-updated, and, uh, and more stories and more uh, files to come. Well, the documents in the online portal shed light on the FBI's interest, not just in mobsters and crooked politicians, but also the city and state's influential Catholic leaders. Head over to the Sun-Times website to check out the FBI files. And speaking of someone who's had an impact in Chicago, I pulled the Emmett Till file. Oh, so, yeah. so there are two separate ones. There you can see everything, you know, date, date of birth, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then there's also um, the actual trial. So word for ver word verbatim of kind of what was said behind the scenes. And it's almost chill. Yeah. yeah, I think it's so important to shed any light we can, uh, whether it's heavily redacted or not. But anytime we can get more things out into open, you used to have to dig to the library oh, on microfiche. microfiche. Oh my God, and yeah. try and find it. The fact that they're digitizing it must have been a huge undertaking for them. Well, Absolutely. I just wonder if, we, if we're going to learn anything that might rewrite history, True. or we might look at something differently. Yeah, Felicia, that's a really good question. Now, most of these people on the list are deceased, like we said in the story, but some people are still living. And you know, who knows? It's a, it's very hard to say, but it's interesting interesting details like that that make you maybe think of someone differently. Mm -hmm. I don't know so much to rewrite history. That's something we'll see later on, yeah. but definitely think about someone differently. All right, good stuff. Nice work by the Chicago Sun-Times.